Alright, here I got a battle using that same team that I was using. This guy's also from the smog on Wi-Fi thing, but uh, this battle was a little bit better than the other one. So, I'm using Rain, the same team, except I put on a horse and I took out Feral Thorn. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave with Politoed. He doesn't really have any weather starters, so I want to get my Rain up as soon as possible. And I also kind of want to bait the Rotom lead, since I do have Protect, so I could scout for the Volt Switch or the Trick. Um... You know, and kind of get a feel for what kind of Rotom he might have. But uh, besides that, I'm kind of worried a little bit about my champ. Because my physical wall glide score isn't really going to be able to take Ice Punches too well. So uh, I can't really one hit KO it with anything since my heaviest hitter is probably Terrakion. And a close combat is not going to be able to take it out. While Dynamic Punch is going to fuck my shit up. So uh kind of want to get off some damage pretty quickly on the Machamp. Otherwise... It's going to be confusing my shit and ice punching my glitch score and that's not going to be good. Then he has a heat ran which isn't going to be doing shit because rain. And uh, Salamence, I think that might be like a a mix Salamence because Dragonite is probably the better Dragon Dancer in my opinion. And then he also has a Feral Thorn which I could kind of handle but it's always going to be annoying. Especially if it has like Leech Seed. So yeah. He needs Waff with the, with the Scizor. I'm going to go with my Politone and I scout with Protect. Uh, that was probably not a good move because I was like 100% sure he was going to U-turn anyway. But there, I just let him know that I'm not a offensive set, so he knows more information that he should have known. But I don't really mind it too much. So, Inka's a Machamp I was kind of worried about, and he's going to Ice Bunch my shit. I know I could live, but that did way too much. But I just got up my rocks, just for whatever reason. He decides to switch out, though. My plan there was to just Earthquake it get off some damage and then go to like Gyarados and try to bounce it or something but whatever he goes to heat ran I'm gonna go into Gastrodon scouting for the HP ice and just to overall wall that bitch get off a free scald on something and he goes to Ferrothorn to take it but he gets a burn off so that's pretty good for me and annoying for him I don't give a fuck I'm just gonna go into Gliscor I didn't go into Terrakion cause uh I didn't want to get T-waved which he ends up having and I kinda didn't want to take a power whip either so, playing safely here kind of pays off, but not really, because he's just going to lead seed here, which means I'm not going to be able to stall it out with Earthquake, which is what I usually do if they don't have if they don't have lead seed. I could just stay in here all day, roost up damage, and Earthquake plus Burn is eventually going to wear him down. So, uh, he sets up a lead seed on me, and my leftovers goes first, which tells me he's scarfed. So, uh, I'm just going to leave Gliscor in there as fodder. I can't really risk my... What's it called? My Gastrodon coming in and getting tricked. So I was pretty much ready to sack Gliscor. So he tricks my Gliscor with Choice Scarf. I don't give a fuck because now I could go into my Gastrodon, which is named High Rotom. LOL. But yeah, I really don't have anything to worry about. Rotom can't really do shit. If he burns me, would kind of get annoying, but I don't really care because I do have the recover. So he goes back out to Ferrothorn. You don't want to take a power whip, even, even though he is burned. He, he's probably going to leech seed anyway, as he does here, so I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. I don't give a fuck if he goes back out to Rotom, because he already tricked me his Scarf, so uh, I could just go out to um, Gastrodon and Wallet for days, so yeah. Now I'm going to go into that horse, because he's trying to set up hazards on me, and I'm like 100% sure he's just going to try to do that, since leech seed is going to kill me off, and he'll eventually get up three layers, but uh, I go into my horse, and he really doesn't have too much to take a close combat, he does have the salamence, but uh, that's going to get wrecked by rocks, so I guess he didn't want to bring it in, and he's not. he doesn't know at this point that I'm scarfed, so... Bringing in Salamence could have been kind of dangerous, so he just sacks his shit. I go into Gliscor's Death Water. Back out comes this Majap, and uh, I'm just going to go into Politoed just to try to hit it. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty sure my Terrakion would be able to kill it off with the close combat. So, yeah. Um, he, he goes for the confusion. I'm not going to hit myself, and then he starts to make a couple of misplays here. Going for the bullet punches, I really don't know why, but um, it allows me to kill off his Machap, so I don't really have to worry about that. Now he goes out to this Rotom, go to Gastrodon all day, and yeah, he's going to have to switch out. I'm going to try to burn something, whatever the fuck comes in. But actually, I don't think I go for the water attack, the scout, since I assumed he'd go into the Salamence to resist it. 
And uh, he ends up going to Heat Ran as I go for the Ice Beam, predicting the Salamats. Which I really don't mind too much, because now I broke his balloon and I'm, I'm able to Earthquake him. So, I don't give a fuck. I knew he wasn't going to bring in Scizor, because he really can't risk me getting a burn off on him. And since it is raining, he's going to do a hefty amount. So, out comes Salamats. Here I kind of make a misplay. I should What I should have done was go out to my Politoed, since that bitch is still alive. But I saved it for Death Fodder. But uh, I kind of forgot that my Terrakion was Scarfed, so even if he was Dragonance, uh, which is why I didn't go to my Politoed in the first place, because I assumed if if I went to Politoed as Deathfather and he, he got up a dance, then I would have been fucked. But uh, my Terrakion Scarfed, so I have nothing to fear, so whatever. But uh, he decides to g get up a dance now, which now I'm, uh, I'm going to make the good move and go to my Politoed. Then I'm going to go into Rakion. At this point, I really can't risk Stone Age missing. And I'm pretty sure Close Combat is going to finish it off. Because, you know, it's a fucking horse. And horse is powerful. So, here I'm going to leave my Terrakion in. If he decides to Bullet Punch, then I could go to the Jirachi. Or I could start setting up Dragon Dances with Gyarados. But I'm probably not going to go to Gyarados. Since he still has his Rotom at pretty much full health. So, Gyarados is not going to be able to beat him. So... My plan there was if he bullet punched to go to Gyarados, uh, I mean to Jirachi, and then start hacking shit with Thunder. But uh, he he goes for the U-turn, doesn't matter, I, I do a fuck though to him with a close combat. So I really don't care. And now that I switched or something, I don't know, he brings in Rotom, and I could just stay in here all day with Gastrodon. And he really can't do shit. I get a crit, it really only speeds up the process since Leftovers is actually gaining me HP. So... Yeah, and now his final dude is a scissor, so I've still got a couple guys to handle it. He goes for the quick attack. I don't really know why I do have Jirachi, but any move he locked himself into, he was fucked. So that's the game. So yeah, comment rate, all that shit. I'm out.